Our residents appreciate the difficult financial position facing councils and the significant funding gaps are leaving us with huge challenges to deliver a balanced budget. We are facing a funding gap of £45 million over the next two years and I'm sure residents will understand how significant that really is. We want to be in a position to shape the future vision for the council, so we have developed a programme of change. At the heart of that is gaining a true understanding of the needs of our residents and we are working to deliver services that are centred around those needs. The regeneration of our communities remains a priority as we want our communities to thrive but it does mean that we need to consider carefully where we can invest with the limited funds that we have. We are committed to making Caffili Pound stretch further by collaborating with the services and the community to share these resources. But we cannot invest in the areas that we need to most if we remain the size that we are now, delivering over 600 services. We will have to look at our services and consider if they meet the needs of residents. And as we move through the stages of the plan change, we will be seeking the views of residents through the range of public consultations. It is really important to make our views known to inform how we progress into options for the future of services. Looking ahead to the future, as we become a smaller organisation, it will present opportunities to work even more closely with the business community we have been working with strongly in recent years. We will strengthen our links with the voluntary sector and residents as we potentially look to transfer assets. These are the approaches we will be considering as part of the change in our effort to empower communities and provide more control over resources and assets on a local level. I hope that residents are able to see that whilst the significant funding gap will lead to difficult decisions, we are looking to the big picture with the needs of residents firmly at the heart of those decisions.